Hello everyone, this is Veronica Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Well, today's video is a recreation of Adriana Alvarez's vending machine. And you guys, when she posted this vending machine on Instagram, well, let me tell you who Adriana Alvarez is. She is a talented, talented, you guys, crafter on Instagram and she is known for her 3D crafts and she is also known for her attention to detail. If you go onto her Instagram and look at her page, you will see all of her creations and they are amazing. I love her Instagram and her creations. My favorite one is the vending machine. I love that one. And it is the picture that I have on the thumbnail. That is her creation, not mine. Just want to put that out there. She did that and I contacted her and I asked her if it would be okay for me to do a video like this cracking Adriana Alvarez's secrets because she has some secrets you guys and that is crafty secrets because there is no SVG file out there for this vending machine so I um, wanted to recreate it and I it's just beautiful you guys and I did create a file however I'm I, um, waiting for her to uh, reply back to see if it's okay to share with you guys and if she gives me the go, you guys, I will link that SVG file down below so you guys could um, utilize it as well. So um, here we go, you guys. I used my silhouette and this is my prototype right here. So um, I don't know what she did to create her vending machine. I have no clue. I don't know if it's... Um, if it has an opening and where is the opening I don't know how she put in her little chip bags in there I don't I didn't know how she created any of her stuff so I just looked at the picture and I created this on my silhouette and um, it took me three days to do because you know I am a mom and it would have uh, taken me a lot shorter than that but um, anyways this is my prototype and I wasn't happy with the way it um, looked. I, you know, I had glue right here. And then again, the uh, little boxes in the inside were kind of um, at an angle. And um, I didn't like that. So the most difficult part of putting this thing together it are these boxes that go inside. It, it is very difficult. And I did have some trouble. But um, again, this is my prototype. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the prototype. And then we'll go into the other one that I created, which is the same thing. It's just decorated. But yeah, um, this is the opening right here at the bottom. So it opens like a box. And then you take out this um, these boxes right here that I glued. And it's kind of like a tower. And so see, there's the slot area. The, well, the coin area, the slot area. And then right here are where the chip bags go. And she has miniature chip bags. And I'm sure she has stuff inside them. <laughs> because she is like, like, her attention to detail goes that far. But, um, so this is what I created. I created these three boxes here. And then I glued them together. I didn't know how to create the shelving either. And these things were a pain in the, you know what, to put together. However, um, you have to take your time. Because if you mess this up, then you have to you have to cut everything out all over again so this is it right here it's just a box and they um, I made um, I believe 32 pieces so there's 32 pieces to this thing and the other one I made is a lot sturdier so we'll go, get, go ahead and get into that so I'm gonna put this back and Oh, I'm so excited you guys. So um, this is also a craft with me as well as a project share. So here it is. This is the final thing one that um, I created. So I, I did sew the edges around and I'm using flourish with this one. And I did the bottom. I did the top right here. And uh, yeah, you guys, I created an SVG. So hopefully we'll be able to use that with her permission because this is her creation. It isn't mine. I just made the SVG, that's all. So uh, again, this one opens um, like so. And I'm thinking of putting extra an extra piece right here to fold right there because this right here seems very 
uh, flimsy, so I know that thing is going to damage with the opening and shutting of, of this. So, um, so the box is the same thing right here. It's not very pretty because you have to put everything together. And I did secure it with extra pieces of paper to make it very sturdy. And so um, this is where all your goodies goes in. So let me put this back. And we'll get we'll get started to decorating it so uh, I'm so excited about this you guys I'm hoping um, she'll give us the go to um, to share the uh, file with you guys because I know you guys would want to um, decorate this as well as much as I did so this was my favorite thing you guys so I am using flourish and uh, let's go ahead and decorate it I did sew all of the ephemera pieces and now I'm just trying to put everything together to see where it all fits in nicely and some of the stitching is pink on some ephemera and the other color is the metallic gold. I was running out of that gold so I went ahead and used pink and um, it was a little difficult to to decorate this because you kind of don't want to <laughs> cover that the opening the window right there you know because that is where your embellishments are going to go and um in adriana's case she went ahead and used chip bags and i think that is a brilliant idea and i think i would do the same so i'm gonna go ahead and do some chip bags and i'm not gonna show that on camera however if you want to see the final review re reveal of this go over to my Instagram and I will be posting pictures there as soon as I'm finished with this project. Uh, this project has taken all weekend and I am glad that I was able to recreate her creation because she is such a talented crafter and I love her work and I get so much inspiration from her and other uh, crafters as well. And this one was just my favorite. It was my one of my favorites and I wanted to recreate it and I'm so glad I did. And um, you guys, if you guys really want this uh, file, send her a message and tell her, hey, kick down that file so we can all have fun with this vending machine. Let's get her to... Um, to yeah to let her say yes so hopefully she'll say yes and you know um i i think it's appropriate for me to get her permission because again this is her idea and all i did was recreate it and create a file so hopefully we could uh we could share and um we could all join in on recreating this vending machine because it's super fun it's just uh, those little boxes in in the uh, vending machine are just uh, a hassle. So you guys, if you if she does give us the go, you guys will have problems with that. And um, if she does give us the go, I will do a video on how to put everything together because it is very difficult to put everything together, but it's doable as you can see. Um, it isn't perfect. I did have some imperfections here and there, especially with gluing because you have to glue both sides of the vending machine because there's a top, a middle, and a back. And so you will struggle with that and as well as I did. And um, I was the one that created this file, so I actually, I know what's, how it goes and what's wrong with it. And so it isn't a hundred percent perfect. There's some, uh, tweaking that you would have to do with this file. And I will show you that in a video as soon as she says, okay, so go ahead and go message her right now. Pause this video and go. Um, but yeah, okay. So, um, I'm using some pop dots as well to give this uh to give the ephemera some dimension and so 
um, I put some pop dots on the deer and you'll see throughout that I do put pop dots all over the ephemera to give it all dimension. I will go ahead and leave you here so you guys could see exactly what I'm doing and then I will come back when I think that uh, you would require commentary. So. One thing I do want to mention is that I do not show when I remove the backing from the square foams. Uh, I didn't want to show that. I thought that it would just be too time consuming and you would all you would understand exactly what I was trying to do. So I just wanted to say that just in case uh, a new crafter is watching me and doesn't know what these foam squares are all about. And so I was struggling with this love um, chipboard piece. I didn't know where to put it. And I kind of think that now looking at it, it would have looked best right there right there it looks really nice and I'm I don't think I should use the the blue uh sentiment there just the love but again I once I glue I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not so um I'm just gonna wait on it sometimes if you just wait on uh making a decision later when you come back to it you'll decide exactly where it should go and sometimes I do that sometimes I will leave my projects and I will come back to them and then I'll have a fresh vision of what I want it to look like and so yeah I just wanted to say that and so I'm just fiddling here with these flowers figuring out which color should go on on the bottom and on the top and if you can see on the right hand side those chipboard numbers I did change that out I was going to use some um num some a die cut that I picked up uh a while ago and um I did use some glitter cardstock and I didn't like the numbers I thought the numbers were a little muted the color with the gold and it was very it was a smaller um, number piece and so yeah I thought it just muted that area and so I found these I found these uh, chipboard uh, stickers here I'm just showing you that I put three foam dot or foam squares there and on the other side I just put one and reason being is because the uh, pink and yellow flower at the upper top portion of the vending machine are already on a square foam so um, I if you're gonna layer you're gonna have to do some extra pieces of foam on the ephemera pieces depending on where it's gonna sit
So I'm going to go ahead and put these number pieces on. But before I do, I did want to add some of those small flowers. Those uh, flower pieces are printables. And yeah, the uh, Flourish Collection does not have miniature flower pieces like that. So I did uh, print those out, um, I believe about two months ago and I cut them out with my cutting machine and so I've had them for a while so I wanted to use them here because these uh, number pieces like the number one was a little a, a light number a light color and so I figured that if I put some color um, behind it uh, with the blue it would pop a little bit and so I wanted to put some of these miniature flowers on each of the uh, vending machine buttons and so I did add those flowers and I, I think it looks nice and um, I was hoping that I could find different number pieces but uh, I went ahead and went with this one this was all I had so you got to use what you have right I'm fiddling with this love chipboard. I don't know where to put it. Uh, even the sentiment, I have no idea where it looks best. So I just keep fiddling and fiddling. And I'm like, where do I put it? Well, maybe I won't use it because look, it has like a, a wrinkle on it. So, <laughs> And then I see some glue. And so this is it, you guys. This is where I leave you guys. I love how it came out. I'm super excited about posting this and sharing with you guys. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know if you like it or not. And leave me a comment down below. I will see you in the next video. Bye.